it will never give you happiness, it will never give you realization. Just to become a who are you? You have to go through the body, you have to go through the senses, you have to go through the if you ask yourself, are you body, you can say no. If you ask to your senses, are you senses, you can say no, you are not, I am not them. Like one by one you ask your physical senses, your still senses, and all the senses, divine senses, everything will tell, I am not what you are looking for. Then I ask, are you mind, you can say no, I am not mind. Are you intellectual, no, I am not. These have been given to me to live in this world. Then why you are going away from yourself? Things are given to live in the world, you just you have not come to live in this world. You have come to something what you have lost to find out. From very beginning you have lost the road of yourself. How to find out? So you have to stop it. This I was teaching many places in the world. It's okay. Just wait. Belonging and yourself. Belonging the world of your mind. Belong to the universe of your consciousness. You have to define it. And you have to experience it. How to experience? The element can be experienced. The science can be. Science can be creative. But enlightenment and realization has to be silence. How to be a silence? You have to separate yourself from belonging. How to separate it? There are many masters who try to be go beyond that. In modern age also there are many masters who enlightened, who realize. In old age also there are many masters, they have written me, they realize. So they have, they have given a hope to us. They have opened the road, yes, they have the chances to experience the truth. But the truth will never come through any language, the truth will never come through any element, any material experience. That truth will never come through any chakra, that will never come through any body. It will come beyond everything. To reach beyond everything, just a path of silence. In Hindi, say, Mauna. How to be silent? So you have to take any techniques, just one technique is enough. Though there are hundreds of techniques, but one technique is enough if you believe yourself. If you decide yourself that you have come to enlighten, you have come to realize, you have come to master yourself. The organic system of the body through that. You see, there is a chemical things are moving in your body. How it is from higher consciousness to lower consciousness, drop to let the things move. How the energy transferring from each other to let you want, let you feel, let you be, feel that I am a life person. If you watch, if you develop your awareness, separating all the belonging and becoming a watcher, 
separating everything away from you and just thinking I am the witness. Things are happening, whole world is moving, but you will find yourself in the bhaktis, in the side. Your awareness, your witness powers will let you decide. What is going to be happening in the silence? We don't have any language to tell you. Just to be your experience. Neither Jagmata nor me, nor any Baba Rabbi Mahasri. Nityananda. Mahatar Baba, Kripashar, Sundarnath. There are many great masters. Are they? They happen to be. They never say that truth can come into the language. Realization can be explained into the language. This is just you have to experience. Just you have to be yourself. Just you have to be silent. What is going to happen in the silence? What is, how we are going to realize the truth? It is dependent on you. Just you have to come back to your own. If you are busy in your belonging, then belongings are so much. One belonging is attached to the whole universe. If you start separating from one, then slowly, slowly you will find millions of elements will appear to yourself. Just you separate the mind. Meditation will happen. Separate the mind means separate the activities. Activities is creating a reaction, anti-reactions. Activities creating energies. And go on creating energy, 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 energy. Till the death. It will be only energy. Maybe you are a great scientific, maybe you are a great spiritual man. Maybe we are a great pranayama thing, maybe we are a great mantra thing. Everything will work because it is all energy. Mantra creates energy, mantra creates a fusion and fusion of energy. Mantra gives you transcendent, mantra can give you transcendent. But it is energy only. A energy is connected to the all elements, all the matters. So you have to cut and become yourself the star power. Be a watcher. Be a sachi bhava. Be a witness. Two words are very important. Either you become a witness or either you become a watcher. You can separate yourself from your belonging and you can make oneness to yourself. That's a great opportunity. If you give the importance of yourself, if you are existence, this universe is ex existence. Give it a few existence just to leave it. Nothing belongs to you. Nothing is going with you. Nothing going with anybody. Don't, you have not come to become a carrier of all these things. So please stop it. <coughs> come back to yourself. My best of wishes to us. God bless you. Be happy. Thank you. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. <clears throat> In Tantra, they, they have the concept concept of Renana Bandana. And how does suffering um, come into this Renana Bandana? Can you explain the meaning of it? Uriyan Bandha. Uriyana Bandhana. Uriyana Bandhana. Bandhana means prayer. No, Bandhana, bondage. Yeah, yeah bondage. Bandhana means nut. There is one, we are talking about here. Jalandhana Bandhana, Uriyan Bandhana. 